talk about um, what I really need uh, to be buying because, you know, there's a lot of talk about, um, you know, people's perceptions about um, disability and uh, people who get um, different uh, benefits and stuff and whether something is a necessity or a luxury. And, um, you know, these foods that I've been getting are, um, you know, they're trying to mainstream foods that used to be mainstream a long time ago, um, but were brought back because um, of uh, rich people having kids with special needs and that they were willing to spend a lot of money to bring these foods back. And then they got sick of paying for them so much and tried to promote them to the wider group is saying, look, you know, even when you don't have special needs, if you eat this food, you be you perform better, you think more clearly, um, you know, and um, if there were a better economy of scale, this would be cheaper than the food that we normally eat. So you can hear in the background, I'm shaking up um, chia right now, which is about um, $4 a pound and at Kroger, and uh, although... Um, some products are like 10, 11 bucks a pound or something like that. I'm getting this cheap. I'm going as cheap as I can on it. Um, I ran out of potatoes. I, I'm not, um, I'm going to go get some bananas and avocados today. Um, you know, I'm drinking prune juice. I'm doing everything I can with a lot of potassium in it and a lot of minerals. Uh, because it really makes a huge difference. Um, the chia seem well, uh, high omega threes. You know, I can. I won the genetic lottery in that I my body processes ALA, um, alpha linoleic acids very very well. Um, some some ethnic groups do not. They have to get their omega threes from fish, or from meat sources. Um, I can get mine from plant sources, which are a lot cheaper. Uh, because I use a tablespoon of the chia seed in a, you know, two cups of water. And um, that um, seems to do a lot of things. Um, it has fiber. It has the right fats. It, you know, um, it seems to be very deacidifying de in a similar way. Um, you know, the nitric oxide seems to be highly acidifying. Um... I don't know what all it does, but you got to think about it this way. It's the Mexicans who are designing the cook next door, and they would not be designing a cook that they could not counteract themselves, and avocados, chia seeds, bananas, you know, chia especially is poor people food in Mexico, um, you know. So, um, if you eat Mexican food, it's probably going to be more helpful than if you eat American food. Um, there might be other options of different cooks. Um, we might all have to start eating Iranian food, but I kind of doubt that because, you know, Iranians kind of look like they're in pain all the time anyway. But, um, yeah, Mexicans are whiny and childlike. You know, they're not going to put up with pain. And they're sneaky. And, um, you know, so they're going to, you could tell them, you know, no, you have to sit there and be in pain. They say, okay, okay, we will, we will. And then you turn your back and then they're going off and eating weeds or something. So, um, anyway. And I think they would take that as a compliment, to be honest with you. So, um, which is kind of how it's meant. Um, but, uh. Yeah, so anyway, so I've got to deal with this and then deal with, on the other hand, the American social issue of people getting too involved in things at, from the wrong point of view. If you've got that energy to have involvement, that's great, but you've got to find the right entry point. 